What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be doing an oil change on a 2017 STI. We also did one on a 2019 STI, which we're gonna include in here so you kind of see the similarities on them. I mean, they, they should be the same, but in case you have a 2019 and you wanna see it, it's gonna also be here. So today we're gonna to be installing this Fumoto, I think that's how you say it, um, engine oil drain valve. So any future oil changes that I do, I just gotta pull the lever and I don't have to actually remove a drain plug or anything. So we'll see how this works. All right, so now the car's on jacks, like so. All right, next we'll be removing the cap so that the uh, oil flows out easier. All right, so first let's make sure to take the oil cap off so that it flows better when we uh, empty out all the oil. Teaching him how to change his oil. Where do I put it? He's growing up. Yeah, there you go. All right, so. You know the first thing, right? You know where the drain plug is? Um, no, not really. Get under there. Let's go see. All right, so there's gonna be three of these that we gotta loosen. They're 12 millimeter. Uh, this one was right here. Um, the other two are up front here. One there up front. Uh, the other one he's working on over there. And the third one was in the back here. Should be three. We'll let you know if that changes. All right, so how many clips of these are we taking out? Which, uh, which way do I do it? Oh, no, that's on camera, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get this <laughs> camera out of my face, man. All right, so we have six clips and three bolts you got to take off for the under, what is it, like a splash guard or like a... Ouch. Carriage, sure, let's oh. carry. Oh, we don't need that. All right guys, so you're gonna be using a 17 millimeter socket um, to take the drain plug out. Okay, I think I'm getting out. So right now, I think I'm out. I'm gonna pull. Swift. Nice. As you can see inside here, it's closed right now. And just to give you an idea to open it, you have to pull up and twist. And now if you look in there, you can see through the other side, you can see my finger. So now it's open. So, to close it, twist this, and let it lock in there. And then you can't see through the other side, it's closed. So, we'll be installing this right now. Gotta put this little washer on it, and then install it. And then there's also like a clip that they give you, um, I guess to lock it to make sure you know it doesn't come undone. So you put the clip on here, it's like a safety clip, so you know it doesn't accidentally open up on its own. So, we'll be putting this on right now. All right, so here it is. This is what it looks like installed. We have the little clip there, just to make sure it doesn't open, you know, accidentally. And start draining all your oil. I know, but shit ain't working. This shit hard. You gotta do muscles, dude. Where are the muscles, though? I don't <laughs> wanna break it. Like, I don't know if it's the right way. You're going the right way, yeah. Because if I do it too fast, is it, is it going to come out? No, no, no. It takes a lot of thread. No, no, it's it's might be locking it's wrong. There's no way. I use all my strength, bro. I ain't that fucking weak. <clears throat> Let's go this way. Let me, let me do a little push action. Okay, there we go. There you go. That's what a 30, 30 year old can do. You can't pull. You push, bud. I'm, I'm scared. scared bro. <laughs> You scared? <laughs> Go, man. I just don't want this shit to splash, so I'm gonna angle it so it splashes back at him. Oh, okay, you see it coming out? Remember, it's gonna spit this way, so you angle your hand a good way. And fast, it might be hot. Go! It dropped. All right, next we're gonna be loosening the oil filter, taking that off and putting in a new one. I'm gonna let it do its dripping thing. Hand tightened. All right, so next we're gonna take the oil filter off. We gotta loosen it. I don't, this, I don't know. Because he doesn't have strong hands. What? There's a bar here. Yeah, that way. Like you're opening milk. Dude. Come on. Oh, he doesn't drink milk. That's okay, why I'm using the wrong reference. All right, like you're opening Inca Cola bottle. <laughs> take it off, man. 
Oh my god, dude. Oh, wow. Make sure it leaks inside. Oh my. Move it! This is. Alright, you pair of towel, Jay, please? <laughs> dude, this is what it looks like the first time you do an oil change. Look at this. A virgin. <laughs> A virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's the old oil filter. Make sure when you're putting on the new one that you're gonna lube up the rubber part on the new one and then install it. So we installed the new one, we already lubed it up. He's uh he's just cleaning it up right now. Hand tighten it as hard as you can with your hand. So we already put the drain plug back in. Alright guys, once the oil filter's on, the drain plug is in there. Well we have the Fumoto the, the new oil plug. Uh, we're going to put in the oil now. We're going to start with four quarts, put maybe four and a half and start reading the measurements, make sure, uh, you know, we get to full. So there was already only half in here. We didn't pull pour the full amount. Um, we already did an oil change before and kept half of it, so we poured half of this one. So we did four and a half quarts so far, and now we're going to check, make sure we have uh, enough oil. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but it looks like it's at the second dot there. It looks like it's right around here. So it looks like we're good. Of course, I'm gonna run it um, and check it again, make sure there's no leaks. All right, so what are these, the clips? These are the last two clips that go in the back. So you see this? Yeah, do it there. That's the hill. So you gotta the go hill. in and push this down and get it in like that. That's good. That's good. Um, all right. All right, so now I'm just gonna let the car warm up a little bit. Check the bottom, make sure nothing's leaking. Looks all dry under here. All right guys, so we just finished doing the oil change on the STIs. We also installed the Fumoto engine drain valve, as you saw in the video. It was pretty easy, I mean, doing an oil change and installing that valve um, it was pretty easy, as you can tell in the video. I definitely recommend you guys trying it out yourselves if you haven't already, um, as long as you have the right tools and you know you can kind of use this video as a guide. It's not that hard and you can make sure that you have the right oil in your car and um, you can save yourself some money as well. So definitely recommend you guys trying it out. I'll be doing another video showing the Fumoto uh, drain valve in action so you can see how that works and see how much easier the oil change is gonna be. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. What the f It's hard, bud. Not gonna lie. All right. Dude, how f how hard did they put this on? You wanna come try, bud? No, bud. There's no fing way. No, dude. I don't know what the fuck is wrong. Like, they literally put this shit fuck on, dude. No fing way. Dude. Make zero sense, right? Yeah. Go grab a fing hammer, dude. It wasn't on as fing strong. I don't know. Whoever, maybe when I took it to the dealership, they put it on with like a, like the actual machine, like. You know what I mean? Like the zzz, and the, the f they did it hard. You don't have one of those mm machines, but <laughs> I don't, but.